The Sea Stinger products were designed by Florida native and spearfishing enthusiast Bill Rogers. With the invention of the Sea Stinger tips came the need for a better spear. Thus, Bill began development of his lightning rod pole spear. The carbon graphite construction creates a strong, lightweight frame that increases stability and accuracy. The Sea Stinger spear tips come in two varieties. The first is what we call the Sea Stinger 1, which is a long, narrow shaft, which is ideal for pole spears and Hawaiian slings. The Sea Stinger 2 is primarily designed for spear guns and for fish weighing over 20 pounds. It can also be used on pole spears and Hawaiian slings, but features a thicker shaft for bigger fish. All of our spear tips can be installed on any sling, spear, or spear gun with a six millimeter attachment. Another feature of our pole spear is the adjustable power band. The power band can be adjusted rearward to provide a greater power stroke for hunting in open water. It can be adjusted forward to reduce the power and increase the control and stability of the shot for hunting fish under reef structures. In this demonstration, we have the lightning rod pole spear with a Sea Stinger 1 spear tip. We've loaded this band up to approximately its full stretch, and we're gonna shoot this at about three feet. The tough skin of the watermelon uh, gives us a, a very good analog of what a fish skin might be like. And as the fish would pull back, the tip toggles, deploys from the, the main body of the spear tip, toggles sideways, through the exit wound of the fish, thereby creating a T-shape that is impossible for the fish to tear away from. The Sea Stinger spear tips create very small entrance and exit wounds in the fish, as demonstrated by this watermelon analog. Note that the small exit wound uh, created is less than 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. The reason that this is important is because it creates less flesh and fluid being dispersed into the water that attracts predator fish such as barracuda and sharks. The second reason is it preserves more of the fillet for consumption. One of the advantages of the sea stinger is its ability to reload quickly after making a shot. Simply rotate this knurled retainer so that the slot lines up with the ball of the cable and simply pull the cable out through the hole pull the cable out through the other end of the fish, thereby minimizing the amount of damage, reinstall the tip on the tip of the spear, reinstall the cable back through the hole, rotate the knurled retainer so that the slot is no longer aligned with the cable. This will ensure that your next shot does not allow the fish to escape by pulling your cable free. Press the cable back into the blue barb and you're ready to continue fishing.